A Florida father is suing the Palm Beach County School District after, well, quite a bit of proselytizing was being done in the classroom by a teacher that should know better, especially after the Florida Parental Rights Bill of Education was signed into law. We're going to talk all about this lawsuit, guys, in less than 10 seconds. First, if you could, if YT lets you, try and hit that like button for me. Very important. Also, you please share the video. Help us get around those algorithms. Hit the bell, subscribe, or wear the glasses because I'm blind. And as always, guys, if you could help donate here to the ministry to help support what I do, please see more info in the description. Let's talk about this Florida father here, Francisco Deliu. Originally from Romania, uh, he's practiced law. He's also lived in New Zealand. Well, he is wanting everybody to know about a lawsuit that he has currently right now against the Palm Beach County School District, uh, more specifically geared towards Emerald Cove Middle School, where his 12-year-old son, this happened back on September 16th, the lawsuit was filed on October 12th. But on September 16th, he alleges that his son, his 12-year-old son, was enrolled in a computer science class. And out of nowhere, the teacher, she started to put out some flags in the classroom. Oh, it wasn't the flags of the United States of America. No, 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 no. These were the rainbow flags. Not one, but two rainbow flags were put up there in the classroom. But that wasn't all. In addition to that, according to the suit, the teacher had gone online and apparently had uh, printed out material that would promote the rainbow lifestyle to the students and and promoted it as an alternative lifestyle as an accepted lifestyle yes what i mean what else could you expect to learn in a computer science class and about the rainbow stuff right this was communicated by delu's son and then upon learning about this well delu went right to the school this didn't start off with the lawsuit okay he went and talked to the principal informed the principal about what was going on there. The principal had just dismissed it as, oh, no, not a big deal. Nothing here at all going on. Deliu then look, took things a step further and said, well, look, if you're not going to do anything about this, I at least want my son transferred into a different computer science class with a different teacher that is not having this material out in the classroom. And so, the principal said that they would look to do that, although that didn't exactly happen. There's a lot more to this, guys. But first, let me, uh, if I could, put a quick plug in here for my Patreon. You know, I got to do this. I get no monetization on this channel. This is the only way I have to let you guys know how you can help support me and what I do. Plus, if you only watch these videos through YT Alerts, you're going to miss a ton of content. They will not send out all the alerts for these videos, okay? When you sign up on Patreon, you never miss an alert. Plus, when you're there, you can comment on these videos completely censorship-free. You can also send me direct messages on there as well. Uh, it's a huge blessing, guys. A big thank you to everybody who's already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity, greatly appreciated. Now, let's get into more of this here because upon asking about the request to transfer him to a new class, uh, they transferred him, but uh, it was not to a computer science class. It was to an art class. And that is not the class that Delu's son wanted to be in. They just tossed him into an art class. Like, oh, okay, well, let's put him here. You know, and Delu is, is alleging here in the suit and saying, look, you know, I, I'm a Christian. My, my family are Christians here. You know, I got nothing against the rainbow people, but what I have a problem with is when you are promoting this to students actively in the classroom and you are trying to conform them, trying to mold them into this mentality to where you get them to say, oh, okay, this is okay to do. He kind of lives by the mantra of, uh, you, know, you know, live and let live. You know, do what you want to do, but don't push your stuff on me is what he is saying here. Now, <laughs> things got even worse from here because now Deliu is uh, alleging that he is going to have to amend his lawsuit because now he speaks of a second incident that occurred. Again, the first one happened on September 16th. Now he's saying that another one happened in October where another teacher, in another class that his son was in, decided to put out another rainbow flag. Now, I don't know exactly what class that was. I don't know if it was the art class that he was put into or not, but Deliu had asked for his son to be removed from that class too. Now, supposedly he was, although I don't know 
what class he was put into after that. But what Delia was saying here is that the school has not in any way properly investigated here the original case, that being that a teacher had violated the law. Again, the Florida Parental Rights in Education Bill, that teacher has violated that in the school. Instead of choosing to discipline the teacher to correct and amend the issue, they have decided to endorse it, to give their stamp of approval on it, and they are playing games here with Mr. De Mr. Deliu and his son. And so now he has put out this lawsuit. He wants this to apparently be done and go to court. Uh, he wants the school to apologize. He wants these flags removed. This is what he is asking for here. I mean, look, it doesn't look good here for this school, okay? In any way, you know, and, and Delia also said this, that when he went to, because he even went to try to confront the board, uh, the second time after the second incident took place, he was met by police, okay, when trying to confront the school board. Sound familiar to you at all about what's been going on at schools across the country here as of late? Uh, I mean, I, I just, you know the times that we're living in when you see these sorts of things taking place. Francisco Deliu, you, you have my respect, sir, for what you are doing. He is trying to raise awareness. He is trying to create a movement, uh, ignite a fire in other parents who may not know these sorts of things are happening in their classroom. And look, you may think that just because you live in Florida, and I know I have a lot of people that watch me from there, that, you know what, your schools are just completely safe because Ron DeSantis had signed this bill into law, but that's not necessarily the case. There are a lot of schools that shook their fist at DeSantis and said, we don't really care about your law. We're gonna do what we want. So there's still much work to be done here. And Deliu is willing to stand up, to send a message, to sue this school and to get justice. And I hope he wins. No, I welcome Francisco Deliu. Even if you wanna come over here and, and, and speak about it more, you are welcome to do so, sir. As well as anybody, you know, if you are a parent that has someone that attends Emerald Cove, uh, and you want to chime in about this, comment section is open for you as well. I'll put more information on this for you guys here in the description and you can let me know your thoughts. I'm not done just yet though because I don't leave any video here without giving people the opportunity to receive Jesus as their Lord and Savior. If that's you, you're watching right now, you're someone that has not yet accepted Christ into their life, I want to give you that opportunity right now to do so. This is a prayer that you can do in your own words but I will give you the steps that you need to bring it before the Lord today. The first thing that you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That is something that we all are. The good news, though, is this. God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world. He died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin. Okay, repent means to turn from your sin. Not just to say you're sorry, but turn from lifestyles, habits, patterns, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there is no greater decision you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ, and I pray you make that decision today. I'll have more on this down below. You guys can let me know your thoughts. Don't forget, again, the links to donate to our ministry are there as well. It is a great blessing if you could help us out. Thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I'll be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you, and I'll talk with you soon.